The Speaker and other dignitaries are in agreement that the nation's foreign policy needs fine-tuning to meet current international realities. This position was adopted in Abuja at a discourse on the need to tinker with the nation's foreign policy following the unveiling of a book by the Deputy Minority Leader of the House on Nigeria foreign policy from 1960 to 2020. Emmanuel Hijini completes the report. Honorable Femi Gbajabia Miller, Speaker of the House of Representatives, says all foreign policies are shaped by world events, and Nigeria is no exception. As we have done here at home and abroad in South Africa, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and everywhere else we have been called upon. In this new age, when we are confronted by challenges that affect us all, a global response is the best way to ensure our collective survival from issues of public health to the challenges of terrorism and the myriad of difficulties, uh, myriad of difficulties and of globalization. A former ambassador to the United Nations and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Amin Wali, said inconsistency in the nation's foreign policy has been a major stumbling block on why Nigeria could not get a permanent seat in the UN in spite of her huge potentials. Yes, whatever we do, we try to get the best out of any given situation, both internally and externally. Now, our foreign policy has its basis from our colonial masters. And in those days, uh, we Nigerians do not really have much to say, because in those days, the affairs, external affairs of this country were handled basically for the colonial office. The deputy minority leader of the house, Toby Okechuku, harped on the need to revive and promote industrialization in the country as stakeholders call for the strengthening of the nation's security architecture for it to take a place among the committee of nations. We have tried to reflect on the impact of internal and external factors such as colonialism, the personality of leaders, the level of development, the press, regime type, international organizations, non-alignment, Cold War, terrorism, and globalization. For instance, in the case of personality of leaders, the chronological method of presentation has enabled us to examine two armed personalities in the conduct of Nigeria's foreign policy since independence. Of course, so much has been said about the reasons why, um, for instance, our economic policy is up in the air, our migration policy is not defined, um, the security policy is observed in breach, and so on and so forth. And so, you know, I would say that if indeed Nigeria's foreign policy is reflective of our domestic policy, then it would naturally follow that Nigeria's foreign policy is also in a flux. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.